everyone, this is Charles Wall, I'm back again, and hey, I made it, finally made it to a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much, all of you who have subscribed to me, who watched me, my, the, that person who put, those people who put me over, right at a thousand, and those people who started with me since the very beginning, thank you so much, and this is actually just the beginning. This will be something even bigger next year. Hopefully I'll talk about 5,000 or something along those lines uh, next year or whenever it takes place. But thank you so much and uh, from the bottom of my heart, I am so grateful that you actually take the time out to watch me and subscribe to me. It is a serious thing. It does mean so much to me and it's almost, it's, it's not quite a dream come true yet, but I, I, can, I can feel it happening. I can feel it happening. So, one of the things I want to talk about with you, first, number one, is what is Charles Wallingford? What is this supposed to be about? It's not about completely just a watch, it's horology, watch collecting, everything like that. That's why you see I expanded to cigars and I do the beer videos and if you have paid attention, I kind of dabbled into uh, travel videos also. So it's more than just watches. It's about being a part, living in a luxury situation or having luxury items but not paying those luxury costs. Having premium items or sophisticated items without paying those absorbent prices. My whole objective for a lot of these videos is to show you how to save money on the nicer things in life. That is my biggest uh, mission for my videos. That is my plan. I want a true sophisticated situation, environment, and then learning how to not spend that kind of money to acquire those wonderful items or situations or be in those situations. That's what Charles Wallingford really is about. All right, next thing I want to talk about, the future. What do we have for the future of Charles Wallingford? Uh, I have to expand. I want to expand more. And the reason why I want to expand is, we all know, watches. That's what I do most of, most of my videos are about watches. That's what most of my viewers, most of my subscribers, it's about watches, horology, watch collecting, everything else. But the reality of it, guys, that can't, that has a, a serious ceiling. I, I, I can't, it can't get but so big, especially right now with the youth not really into watches. And, but again, it's all about that whole lifestyle. So, what's coming up next? I will first, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm dropping the beer videos. I'm sorry, I'm not going to do any more beer videos. I'm done with the beer videos. I like doing them, but for as much money as I spent, because a lot of this stuff, this stuff comes out of my pocket, straight from my pocket. I don't usually get help or anything like that. With the expense of all of how much these beers cost, yes, all the beers I did are far more expensive than you would actually think or you would pay for. Because just like we do with the watches and everything else, they're premium items. So they cost a lot more. I'm not doing them anymore because the viewers, <laughs> hardly any viewership with those. The uh, Those of you who watch me, who subscribe to me, just because of the beer videos, I have to apologize to all three of you. I'm sorry. I, I can't handle it for how much time, effort, and everything else that goes into making those videos. I, it, 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 the return is, is almost zero. So I'm, I'm going to stop doing the beer videos. And you, you've seen the last beer video a couple weeks ago. So what do I have to replace them? I, re, I am replacing that with a few things. I am a big, big
big travel guy. I love to travel. I love to see different lands, different places, different people. I'm into uh, the complexity of human beings and also the different environments and uh, geography. I love all those things. I talked about them before, not sure many people did watch it at the time, but I love going on cruises. I'm going to possibly do a cruise sometime soon, but coming up real soon, I have a trip to Mexico, Playa del Carmen. Playa del Carmen is my next trip, and that will be a great trip. We still will talk about watches, we still will talk about cigars, but it's going to expand to a little bit more to get more sophisticated. It's going to be a more of an expansion and it's going to be a great uh, video, or excuse me, I'm going to do a lot of videos on that, so watch out for that. Along with that, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, I have another trip that I'm actually planning now. I, I don't want to talk about that until until I know for sure that I'm going and because uh, I'm I'm really big on uh, on on bad luck because I'm I'm like one of, I'm the probably the most unlucky person you've ever met I guarantee you that all my friends like serious friends will tell you I am severely unlucky. But what we will have is uh, coming up pretty soon, most likely in April, uh, the Watch Week on Madison Avenue. Watch Week in Madison Avenue. I went last year. Check that video out if you haven't seen it. I went last year. I will be in much more more depth with that video. Uh, the uh, videos, excuse me, I'm going to have probably a few videos in there. The videos will probably have a lot of YouTubers, watch YouTubers will be there also. I know StyleCon is going to be there with me and uh, that will be a pretty good uh, set of videos and I, I urge you if you can make it, I will be doing videos and let you know it's coming soon when, it's, when the dates actually go down. They, they haven't released the dates yet but if you can make it, I want to see you there. I absolutely want to see you there. And I will have other traveling events, a lot of other um, situations where I will be traveling. Also, if you haven't seen it, it's actually doing much better than I expected. I did a video on my visit to Pocono Palace, of course, in the Pocono Mountains with my wife and I. So check those videos out. The next thing we're gonna, another thing that we're gonna, I'm gonna do is restaurants. We we will be visiting restaurants, and I say we because StyleCon and I. We're going to be visiting restaurants and we're going to show you how still how to have a great time, have high level premium uh, items without paying those prices. Number one, the number one uh, person or persons or, or company I want to thank, number one, Little Treasury Jewelers in Gambrel, Maryland. Little Treasury Jewelers in Gambrel, Maryland has been really the stalwart in the Charles Wallingford channel. They have helped me immensely. And uh, I thank you, you all so much Absolutely. in my life. And I, I thank you so much for the time, the effort, and the patience you had with me. So I can't wait to do more in the future with the Little Treasury in Gambrels, Maryland. Thank you again. Thank you, the tobacco company in Lemoyne, Pennsylvania. There's also a tobacco company in Harrisburg. We haven't been there yet, but thank you, all the staff in the tobacco company. Thank you so much. Uh, I couldn't have been the cigar rookie without you guys. Thank you again. Thank you to my partner, StyleCon. He has helped me immensely with my watch knowledge. His watch knowledge, I'll tell you right now, guys. It's not an exaggeration, and it hurts me that he doesn't have the subscribers that he should have. You need to check him out. Absolutely check him out. If you're a watch person, 
you need to check him out. Style Khan knows more about horology than almost anybody, anybody, even the big guys, more than anybody on YouTube and the internet right now. I kid you not. Now, I want to thank this person. This person is actually pretty special to me because he was one of my very first subscribers and I had no idea who he was, what he represented, or anything. Johnny Casual. Johnny Casual, if you haven't seen any of his videos, well, he has a lot of subscribers. He needs more. That's what I'm going to say. He needs more too. And he, was, so he supported me and he commented on my videos when they were probably not so good. And he helped motivate me in the early, early days. So Johnny Casual, thank you so much. Next up are some companies that really, believe it or not, helped me out. Sent me a couple things, some free things, and thing, uh, items along those lines. So first of all, I want to thank Revolution Magazine. Thank you so much for what you, you've done for me. Uh, I feel you on uh, Scar Lounge. Thank you so much. Also, thank you, Cobalt, Michael Cobalt of Cobalt Watches. Thank you so much. Uh, you really helped me out a lot too. Um, brands. Let me tell you right now, Willie Glass Hutton. Thank you, Willie Glass Hutton. Hamilton. And to me, one of the best companies in the Swatch Group, Long Jean. Thank you, Long Jean. All right, for the rest of you, thank you so much for, again, for those of you who subscribed to me. Thank you so much for those of you who supported me, all the comments, all the comments, because even the ones I didn't like, even the ones that were out there that I was like, why did they do that? And or what made me mad or what have you. You helped me make videos. So, <laughs> thank you so much. I always ask the question, how would you spend your money? Making these videos is actually how I spent my money. And uh, I'm grateful and happy with my return.